before I start today's video guys, shout out to Mambo TND. This guy is an absolute G guys. Check out his channel, link will be down below in the description. This guy has personally decided to design my profile picture and a channel banner for me and it's looking pretty slick, not going to lie. So I hope you guys enjoy this redesign of the channel. I think it's gonna help my channel look aesthetically better and it just really looks cool. I like I really like this. So please check out Mambo T N D. Uh he's on the bar here. Just click on his channel and click subscribe. He does P U content as well. And without further ado, let's go. Welcome back to a brand new video guys, my name is Timmy the Toy Time King and I am late to the party guys but Houndoom has quick dropped to PU and uh, I was here when it dropped, like, I heard the announcement and I read the post but I was supposed to make this video a bit earlier but I have been busy today so yeah we're going to be speaking about Houndoom and potential sets that uh, could be run on the Pokemon, I have a couple sets to showcase to you guys today, If you guys, just in case you guys didn't know what to start running on Houndoom, I have a good idea of some sets that you guys should be running, but if you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more PU content and more general Pokemon content, but without further ado, let's look at Houndoom guys, Houndoom uh, is, I'll say without doubt is a good mon in the tier it's gonna be a good mon in the tier actually it's not bad it has a really good special attack 110 base special attack has 95 base speed same speed tier as primate which is pretty nice and primates outspeeding things <coughs> the only problem that houndoom really has to be honest is suffers from really low defense stat and it's quite frail actually so it can be easily picked off by priority Especially Mock Punch since it's a Dark type and Dark types are weak to fighting. Also, the Rock's weakness really just makes the priority just kill it more easily. So those are some of like the main reasons that I have for why Houndoom isn't busted in this tier. It's not it's not Pyro level. It's nowhere near Pyro level. It's a, it's a solid Pokemon in the tier, and I think it's around A minus level or B plus level in the viability rankings if it was to be ranked. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was put A minus. Uh, either, but yeah, starting off with the first set, I would like to show to you guys we have Z Solar Beam Houndoom, and obviously, Houndoom is a very strong hitter, thanks and thanks to Nasty Plot. Nasty Plot helps it really boost its wall breaking potential, and uh, Solar Beam just amplifies that because one of the more natural checks to Houndoom is obviously Lantern, and Lantern's a water type, and water types are weak to grass type moves. So, plus two, uh, Houndoom should uh, kill. Uh, uh, a lantern, I think. I'm actually gonna calc that actually. Uh, we're gonna check some calcs here. So, we're gonna look at Houndoom. <clears throat> we're gonna look at uh, Assault Vest Lantern. Uh, so this is I'll change that to Solar Beam a Z at plus two. So, Balloon Doom always kills Assault Vest Lantern, and uh, Bulky Lantern spread uh, takes dies as well. But let's look at it at neutral. So Bulky Pivot actually dies after Stealth Rocks. Uh, we'll see that. 37.5% uh, uh, chance to Oku. And then Salt Vest Lantern should take as much damage. So even without a Nasty Plot, this thing uh, can actually stop one of its more dangerous checks like Lantern. Uh, not doing as much damage with uh, Salt Vest Lantern. But at plus 2, this thing is always killing Lantern. So yeah, that's the first set. It's quite nice, honestly, because Lantern is really going to get in your way. And, like, yeah, being able to nuke it is quite nice. Now, onto the second set, of course, we have Fireium Z. Or this could be interchanged with Darkin uh, Darkinium Z as well, just to have a nuke. is the exact same moveset, just that uh, HP Grass is in place of Solar Beam, just because we're not running Grassium Z. We're running its dual stab uh, Z Crystals. And, again, this is... Probably going to be one of the more common sets as well. Being able to just nuke a lot of things when a nasty plot is up. And yeah, not much else to say about this. It's just, it's just, it's wall breaking set to be honest. Now, after these two sets, because I think these are going to be the more standard sets that we're going to see in Houndoom. Now, we're getting onto the ones that won't be the most used, but are still quite good sets in their own right. We're onto Choice Scarf Houndoom. And obviously, 
using Houndoom's 95 base speed to is able to outspeed a lot of Pokemon and have a really good revenge killing role. And as you can see, I'm running Pursuit here because uh, you're able to outspeed Frostlass and Pursuit Trap it, which is really, really nice. And some people have been speaking about this in the PU chat, and I honestly agree that uh, Pursuit on the Choice Scarf set is actually not too bad because you, you beat Frostlass. I should honestly be running Naive on this and for attack, uh, what do you call it, Eevees? <coughs> Just making sure you kill Frostlass. I'm pretty sure you can kill Frostlass, actually. Uh, naive Nature. Uh, Frostlass. P Bulky Spikes. Pursuit. Uh, at 80 base power. Pursuit does that much damage to Fro That's max HP Frostlass. That is a lot of damage, honestly. Uh, even after Rock. So, the offensive Frostlass set probably dies. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it dies after Stealth Rock, so Offensive Frostlass loses to Scarf Houndoom, which is really nice. But the only problem I find with Scarf Houndoom is that it speed ties with Scarf Primate, and uh, I don't know how much damage you're doing with Fire Blast against... Uh, yeah, it's just checking calcs this video, honestly. Fire Blast doesn't even kill Ape. Like, it does 93 max when Stealth Rock gets you to 96, I believe, or 95% HP, I don't even know. But yeah, you don't actually kill it, and... It always kills you with freaking close combat, which really sucks. So, trying to get uh, chip damage on Primate, plus actually winning the speed tie is quite risky. So, yeah, it's still it's still uh, going to be a good set nonetheless. But just speed time with Primate, which is one of the most uh, ubiquitous scarfers in the tier, is just really, really annoying. But anyways, on to the next set, we got Life Orb Taunt. And Taunt can also be run with these two sets, honestly. Like... I don't know what would replace Taunt, maybe Nasty Plot or something, but this is probably the stall breaking set that I, I thought of uh, before making this video. Just being able to uh, stop things from setting up, e.g. Lilligant in your face, or you can just kill it. Uh, stopping stall mons in general, to be honest. Like, you can, yeah, this is the set that is supposed to beat stall. And uh, yeah, Life Orb just maximizes its damage output even without Nasty Plot. And yeah, try Taunt uh, Houndoom out. It, it's, it's trying to. I haven't even experimented with any of these sets, you know, but like, uh, I did make a team surrounding Houndoom, so I might ladder with that uh, in the video or so. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, moving on to the next set, this is Mixed Houndoom. <clears throat> and by mixed, I mean having Sucker Punch as a physical move. And. Uh, you might as well utilize Houndoom's decent 90 at base attack stat and uh, use Sucker Punch, which is strong priority, and you can actually revenge kill things with this one as well. Life Orb uh, amplifying your damage as well, and just running your stab plus HP Grass. Always run HP Grass, or you just lose to things like Quagsire and Gastrodon. So, yeah, HP Grass is a necessity on Houndoom. Now, moving on to the next set, we got Choice Specs uh, Houndoom. Uh, just another really strong wall breaking set. If Pyro could run this and Houndoom slightly, slightly has higher damage than uh, 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 damage output than Pyro, then this set is gonna hit like a mother effing truck. I'm saying that now. Dark Pulse hits Mesprit. Unnerve, like Unnerve. I haven't even spoken about the abilities. Like you could, Unnerve is probably one of the best abilities you can run. To be perfectly honest, uh, because uh, Cobra Berry is uh, what do you call it? nullified uh, against Mesprit, so it's going to be doing a chunk to Mesprit. I'm pretty sure Mesprit dies, honestly, uh, to a Dark Pulse. Uh, Fire Blast hits hard, and then I was thinking Toxic here. <coughs> I'm just overcoming the cold, guys. I'm so sorry about that. But Toxic, Will-O-Wisp, uh, and possibly Destiny Bond. Uh, Destiny Bond seems like a cool tech to run on Houndoom, but yeah. That's most of the many uh, main sets I think Houndoom should be running. I have one more set to show you guys before I end this video. don't want it to be too long. Uh, you guys already know Houndoom dropped already. It's already been 24 hours. But yeah, this is the last set, Z Sunny Day. And I actually uh, forgot this could be a potential set as well. Z Sunny Day boosts your speed by 1 and sets up sun as well. So you're going to be hitting Fire Blast really hard. I feel like you could run Nasty Put, but just running Dark Pulse Fire Blast uh it's, it's gonna get easily warred and i feel like solar beam is ne a necessity on this set because you're able to utilize it on the sun so yeah this set is is not going to be the most common set but it's still a good set nonetheless now i thank you guys for watching this video if it felt a bit rushed uh sorry about that but if you guys didn't know specs jigglypuff already made a video and i bet you guys have already seen that one so he's probably already explained uh some of the sets to you guys already but uh <coughs> 
appreciate it if you guys really leave a like down below i'll link his video in the description as well so you can check his one out if you haven't as well uh as i said at the beginning of the video shout out to mambo tnd for the redesign on the youtube channel really really appreciate it and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content but without further ado guys i'll see you guys in the next video peace